Hey there, my name's Adam, your friendly Sasquatch, and today we're doing a quick video review of Goal Zero's Yeti 200X, an excellent little portable power station to cover all your portable needs. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's start by talking about the size and weight of this particular power station. It's super compact, you can pick it up with one hand easily. It only weighs five pounds or 2.27 kilograms. The width is 7.9 inches or 20 centimeters. The depth is 5.1 inches or 13 centimeters. And the height is also 5.1 inches or 13 centimeters. Overall, a super compact little unit. Um, in the top, you got kind of this indented uh, handle to get your hand in there, which is kind of nice because you can uh, easily stack things on it. The top is nice and flat. It doesn't have one of those big bulky kind of handles protruding up. So that's kind of nice. On the bottom, you have some nice little rubberized feet to make sure this thing isn't sliding around, especially if you're in a moving vehicle or something like that. So that's kind of a nice touch. So overall, a really compact size and weight, especially compared to some of the bigger options out there. And it packs quite a punch. Let's go ahead and talk about the power output that this particular unit offers. So first we have the 12 volt port on the side here, and that puts out up to 10 amps. So that's gonna be able to run you know, little mini fridges and things like that, or any of the electronics that you uh, plug into your car adapter. So, so very versatile little 12 volt port there. Um, one thing that's nice about 12 volt is you don't get any loss through um, the power inverters. It's uh, just straight power, so that's a nice little thing. Next, we have the USB ports. Um, we have two USB-A ports that put out 2.4 amps. And then we have two USB-C ports, one that puts out 60 watts, which is great for larger devices, such as your laptops or drones, things like that. Then we have an 18 watt USB-C port. This is great for speed charging your phone, uh, charging up mirrorless cameras, things like that. Um, it's just gonna be a good all around little device. So, um, you know, really good option for charging your portable devices, which I think is kind of the target niche of this device. I, I do think a lot of people are gonna be buying this to charge their portable devices and laptops, things like that. And finally, we have the AC adapter here, which can put out a continuous 120 watts or surge 300 watts. And that's actually gonna power a lot more things than you might think. Most devices don't pull more than 100 watts unless it's got a big motor on it, like a drill press, a saw, something like that. If you're just charging your laptop, you're powering some lights, stuff like that, this little AC outlet is gonna be more than adequate. Now switching to the back of the portable unit, we have an eight millimeter input. And when you plug in the 60 watt charging brick that's included with this battery pack, the battery will charge in 3.5 hours. Also in the back of this particular battery pack is a little fan to help keep the unit cool when you're putting a lot of power into it or pulling a lot of power out, charging larger devices. When plugged in, the front display will show the battery percentage and a blinking blue indicator letting you know if the battery is receiving charging power. I do want to point out that this particular display doesn't show the watts being used or being charged and it doesn't show you how long you have left on the battery before it's depleted or how long it will take to charge. With the standard wall adapter, the battery takes around three and a half hours to charge. However, if you're using a solar panel, your charging time will vary. Okay, just to give a quick demonstration test of what this particular power station is capable of, I have uh, plugged in stuff into all the ports. Uh, first, I have a drill battery here. Um, so let's say you're a handyman, something like that. You might want to top off your drills if you're just doing light work at a client's place. You don't want to have a big generator or something like that. So this uh, drill battery will pull about 40 to 50 watts. I have a MacBook Air, which will pull 60 watts. Then I have a backup battery for traveling. Uh, that will pull about 18 watts off the 18 watt port. And then I have a portable speaker and my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So all just together, we'll pull around 120 to 150 watts. So to start this off, we'll just click the AC power. As you can see, the drill battery is now charging. And then we'll turn on the USB ports. You can hear all the devices turning on. And uh, as you can see, no issues. The uh, little battery pack here is charging all these things simultaneously with no problem. Something I do want to point out is when you put 60 watts or more load on this particular battery pack, the little fan in the back will kick on. It's not very loud and it's a variable speed fan. So if you have a low load on it, it just spins very slowly. If you put more load on it, it will speed up, making sure the battery pack stays at an acceptable operating temperature. Something else I really like about this power station is the frame is made of aluminum, meaning it will passively help conduct heat away from the battery even without the fan running. So the fan will only run when it really needs to. So overall, I've been really impressed with this little power station. I would highly recommend it. I think it'd be great for anyone who's uh, traveling, needs to charge portable devices, um, a little handyman if you just need to charge uh, drill batteries every so often. 
Um, anyone who's a photographer, or drone enthusiast, or just has a laptop on the go, I think this is gonna be a really useful tool for you. As far as what it can charge, if you have a large cell phone like mine, it can charge it up to 12 to 16 times. A MacBook, you can charge up to four times. Something like a tablet or something like that, you can charge up to six times. Something like this dual drill battery, you can charge it four to five times. So overall, a lot of power in a small package. So if you're looking for a convenient portable solution to cover all your power needs, this portable power station has you covered. This is the perfect solution for your next camping trip, photo shoot, drone flight, or remote job site. I would highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this video review, make sure to hit that like button below. It helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon below so you're the first to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Cheers!